Hello, my name is Steph, and welcome to Bamboozled Again. Oh, sweet Jesus, I'm actually doing this. But, um, yeah, this is very hard. I don't know what else you expect, so let's just jump right into it. And because, uh... This is the story. Because this is all available experts, experts, please report to room A9. Let me see the cipher stuff. So, first thing we want to do is hit this middle right LED that stops it from cycling. This one would continue it from cycling, the middle left, and the two at the far end uh, allow you to cycle through the message. So, first thing we want to do is write down the color uh, of the message. And there's a whole color wheel at the bottom, and we will refer to this later, but it's gone to the point where I've memorized this, so take my word on the color. So, the first thing we do is we we decrypt the symbols at the end, which are always going to be the same. They're going to be symbols appended. So it's going to be a dash. And the next thing, we find the letter within all of these sets and record it. Now we find the two sets that it's in, and we just try to find we try to isolate which set it's in. And we do that by going through each letter, as like one of them will be unique to uh, to a set. So this next letter is uh, is this. I'm gonna try find it here. It, it's this one. Meaning, since uh, this letter is not within the set, uh, it's going to be uh, set F. Now, each set has a value listed at the bottom. What I usually do is I put uh, the letter C and the set value. So in this case, C16. Uh, also, we want to record that letter uh, because we're gonna be Caesar ciphering it. The next one is like two diagonal arrows. Emergency cleared. All personnel, please return to your that stations. That is an O, as seen here. Uh, the next one is a diamond with a little square in it. That is a Quebec. The next one is a uh, sort of diamond with legs going up. Uh, it's here somewhere. Yep, that's an echo. Next one is, uh, I don't know how to describe it, but it's a B up here. This one's actually a symbol, and the reason why this is important is because um, that means that this is uh, this is a message with possibly more than uh, with two or more words. However, to emphasize that there's two or more words, there is um, each thing, each, uh, each space is represented by a hash, and along with the uh, the letters being Caesar cycled ciphered. Uh, the symbols also Caesar cy uh, cycled, ciphered, but I'll get to that in a second. So next thing we have is a dumbbell, which uh, is a Zulu. Since we already recorded this letter, it's going to be a Lima. This letter is in India. And... Our final uh, symbol is the character that we recorded at the beginning. Each message always has uh, characters appended to it. Now what we want to do is, in the Caesar thing, we want to shift it backwards. And remember what I said about, um, about spaces being represented by uh, hashes? Keeping that in mind, that means the, uh, the cipher is going to be uh, 7 plus some, uh, 7 plus 8n. So, if it's 7 plus 8n, we can go to 7. That's not true. And then we add 8 each time. So, okay. 7 plus 8 is 15. That doesn't make anything. Let's go to 23. And there we go. We have the color. Now, we write down uh, the Caesar set. Uh, how much we ciphered it by, 
and write it down next to the letter B, so B23. Now, along with Caesar cycling, uh, ciphering the, the thing in the middle, we do it to the ones at the end. So, we want to shift this up, uh, we want to shift it up by the amount we uh, Caesared, modulo 8. So 23 mod 8 is 7, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, the character's appended is a star. Well, an asterisk, but you get the idea. And then we write down the message. Now, as you can see, it's supposed to say the color, but it's been shifted to the left. We write down the letter A and write uh, and see where the start of the sequence is, so in this case a T, and see how much uh, it's been shifted to the left. So if T was originally here, that means it would have traveled 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 spaces. And we do that for uh, for 6 out of 8 of these. For the other two, we, uh, which is the second and the fourth, so these two, there are always going to be the words next or then. Uh, we still have to write down the color, so. So, rose. Okay, this is a uh, double quote. And the sets don't matter, you just need to find out what they are, what the, what the letters are. So, we have a a D. This will just help me find out what letters they are. Uh, this will be a... Okay, so it's the set, so this will be a W. This is an S. And this is a an M. Now, since there's no symbols within this, you're just gonna have to, like, cycle through everything. So... Oh, hey. So, if you're... Uh, so... Ugh. We don't even have to write down how much we Caesar suffered it by, we just have to write down what it is. So, it is... EXTN... Actually, well... Also, but we still have to Caesar, uh, the characters as well. So, since uh, 25 mod 8 is 1, we just move the quotes up by 1, so it becomes single quotes. So this becomes EXTN. And then we move on to the next one. This one is blue, and it's also a long one. The starting thing is a question mark. The starting letters is an alpha. Then a an Oscar, and since uh, Oscar is uh, special to this set, we're now we're using set uh, C, which is uh, C13. So continuing on with this, uh, we write down an L. Okay, this is another symbol or character. It's an exclamation point. This is a W. We do, we already have this letter recorded. It's an O. Okay. Now, this letter's a Y. Oops. This is a little alt tabbing. <laughs> this one's a hotel. Yeah, out here. Uh, after that, it is going to be. Why won't you leave? Uh, so after the hotel, it's going to be a Zulu. And again, we already... Uh, wait, no, we don't. Yeah, we do. Since we already have this letter recorded, it's an L, so we can just put the same thing. And again, since spaces are represented by... Uh, uh, by hashes, we know that's uh, 8n plus 7. So, plug this in here, and first thing we write is 7, and what do you know? It's that. So, 
We also move the question mark up by 7, or down by 1, since it's the same thing. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and down 1. So, it is a dash. I forgot to write down the, how much it's been ciphered by. So, 7. Dash, the f space, phrase, dash. Uh, okay. And since this is the start of the message, um, and it's where it should be, uh, we write zero next to A. Now, a thing that I should mention is that while A can be zero, B cannot be zero. It's, um, so let's say it's perfectly, um, you get your message, the phrase, like, uh, you, you decrypt your word and it comes out as one color. Uh, and this is at zero. You would not write down zero for your B value, you would write down 26. Since, uh, since it's stated here that B is greater than zero, or uh, less than or equal to 26. So that's just something to keep in mind. Okay, we have our next, uh, then slash, uh, next, next or then. This color is white, I believe. White and gray are like very similar. Yeah, that's white. And again, we don't care about the set, nor the how much has been C ciphered by, nor the A value. Okay, so this is an I. Oops, I forgot to write down the starting symbol. That is a single pot. That is a Z. That is an S. And that is an O. So, we just keep hitting this until we find next or uh, then. Well, there we go. We found it, it's 21. 21 mod 8 is 5. So we take this and we go 5. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And it's next. This one is also white. Okay, this is a, a hash. This one is a, a diamond that's both up and down. Where's that? By the way, I wouldn't expect you to do this in a voice bomb. This is pretty much just for Twitch plays. Or for EFMing. Uh, let's see. So that's F. So we write down F. Uh, we write down S since uh, it's an S. And both of them are shared, so we're not done just yet. We have this, which I believe to be a P. Yep. And since it's special to this set, we write down C uh, 16. Okay. We have this letter, which is an O. We have another one of this letter, and that was an F. We have a space in between, so we know it's shifted by at least uh, by 8n plus 1. We have... Uh, let's see, where is it? We have this, which I believe to be Mike. Yeah, we have a mic. Wait, oh. We've already had this letter before, so we can write down M, well, F. We have the square symbol, which is U, and, so that, uh, and since that shows up twice, we can write it down twice. And that's the end of the message. Now then, it's going to be shifted by at least one, so, well, 8n plus one, and it's just one. So it's B1, and the hashes go up by one, so it's an exclamation point. 
so it's gonna be um, space left, and that's been shifted by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight spaces. This one's a yellow. Our first symbol is uh, a diamond. So we wrote down this. We have we had some sort of X thing. Uh, so this is going to be an X. We have what looks to be like a fountain. So just checking for both. Since the fountain's unique to this. Uh, we write down that letter, and we write down C15. Oops, on the souvenir spot, C15. Next thing we write down is this letter. Uh, let's see, where is it? Which is an R. We write down this letter, which is a U, and that's the end of the message. So, again, we see some stuff for it. It's probably gonna be like blue or something. Again, we have nothing to base it off of, so we just have to guess. Uh, low, nope. If you can't find it, then you probably didn't. Either if you're doing it in a voice bomb for some reason, you probably got described the wrong symbol. If not, though, then uh, you're just blind, like I am right now. Uh, kilo. Okay, there we go. So it's been shifted by nine. Uh, modulo eight. That's one. So we moved the tilde up one. So it's a an asterisk. And we, down, we write down O'Keel. It's been shifted one, two, three to the left. Okay, our next thing is red. The symbol is uh, a single asterisk, not asterisk, quotation. We have the letter D. We have this letter again, which is over here. It's unique to this set, so we write down this R, we write down C13. We have a backwards November, which is an S. We have what looks to be, what looks to be a burger, so we write down the C since it's up here. And we have a, an asterisk, meaning that there is a space, it's 8N plus 1, 2, 3. 8n plus 5, so we take this, I can't think of what message it would be, but that's besides the point, negative 5, uh, negative 13, oh, negative 13, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, I can't count, give me a second, so if it's negative 5, one, two, three, four, five. Make sure this is not a letter. It's not a letter. Okay. Yep. One. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oops. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh. Alright, apparently I can't count. Uh. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, wait, no, that's not an actual message. My bad. Uh... If you can't seem to find your message, another thing you can do is look at all the messages down here. There's gonna be something that, uh, there's gonna be something that corresponds with this. So, for instance, it's probably going to be this kilo, or it could be this high low, which I didn't actually think about. So, 
uh, so we can find, we can look for this, uh, look for it to be an H. It's on H, so it's probably a K. Nope. Oh. Uh, let's see. It could be what? Oh wait, it could be this. My bad. I can't think. This is a message, but it's this with a question mark. So. Yeah, so you can have like actual punctuation in your messages. So this has been shifted by 10. Uh, and 10 mod 8 is 2. So you move the, these up by 2. So 1, 2. So in exclamation point, it is this question mark exclamation point again. And it has not been shifted by the A value at all. So we move on to the next thing. Yeah, okay. Uh, and this is the final message. This is Rose yet again. We have an, a hash. We have the Y over here. Uh, we have yet another hash, so we know there's a space, and we don't have to... Uh, it's shifted by 8N, including 0. So, this is a G. So we know that our set value is 12. This is a... What letter is this? This letter is a Q. This letter is an F. This letter is a... is an H. This letter is a P. We have an asterisk. I mean, this actually has been Caesar uh, shifted, the symbols. Uh, we have uh, another Y. We have a, a J, and we have a C, and it's the end of the message. Now, since this can't be the space, because this is going to have to be shifted, this is going to have to be a space, so it's shifted by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so 8N plus 5. So, yep, black text. So, this has been shifted up by 5, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, it's a question mark. Uh, let's see. Nope, it's a T. Uh, and I guess black text, uh, test, yeah, text with a question mark is a thing. Yep. Black text. Uh, our B value is 5. Don't forget about that. And it's been shifted to the left. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, yeah. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9 times. And that is uh, done with text. And that is a nice 23 minutes, and we're like one third of the way through the module. So, once we do that, we grab the value for each message, and then we're going to modify it uh, in a way. So, for example, okay, so we have the color. It's best to write down the initial values. So we have the color, the phrase, one letter, kilo, uh, kilo as in one word 68 this question mark 78 and black text is 
46. Then based on the color, we changed uh, this initial value. So since this one is a zero, uh, we replace the first digit with the second. So 32 becomes 22. This one is blue, so we add the first digit. So this becomes 22 as well. This is white, and with white we do nothing, so we just skip this. For yellow, we add the second digit. So 68 plus 8 is 76. For red, we subtract the first digit. So 78 minus 7 is 71. Yeah, that makes sense. And for rows, we subtract twice the second digit. So 6 times 2 is 12. 46 minus 12 is 34. Yeah, that makes sense. Alright. Now then, we plug... Okay, so... That thing that we just calculated is X. So, we plug each uh, each text value into this. So we grab S plus 5 times then the A value, so 7, plus 2 times uh, the B value plus the C value. Let's just plug this in here. This gives us 135, so we can write down 135. We do that for each one. This is the the S value is the same. The B uh, A value is different. The B value is seven, and the C value is 13. This one's 62. This is 24. A value is eight. B value is 1, and C value is 16. 15, 16. One digit off will, will mess you up in a lot of ways. Okay, so... F, uh, so... Fifth text, final value is 98. So we grab 76. We plug in 3. We plug in 9. And we plug in 15. That gives us 139. Yeah. 139. This gives us 71. This gives us 0. And... This gives us 10. And 13. Yep, well, I might just double check I did those. 10, 13. Yep. Plug this in here, we get 117. So final is 117. Okay. 34, 9, 5, and 12. 113. Okay. Now then, we go back to this and we find out each of the buttons' value. So, we do this in reading order. So, we follow this set of instructions uh, below. The button is black, so no. If the button is white or gray, that's also no. Otherwise, begin with zero. If the button, if the color of the button is written on itself, nope. If the complementary color is written on itself, that's green, and green's opposite color is magenta. No, it's a cyan. So, uh, if any color or the word color is written on the button, press, uh, add 5. So, so our initial value is 5. Add 60 for each unencrypted display text that's the same as the text written on the button. So, do any of these texts say in cyan? The answer is no. So we skip this. Add 15 for each display text that's the same as the color of the button. This is green. None of these are green, and you can double check by cycling this. Button is not gray. Add 10 for each display whose color is complementary to the colored button. So, again, the complementary uh, green is magenta, and we have no magenta. So, 5 is our final value for this button. Well, our initial final value, if you get what I mean. 
So, we do that for each one. This one's magenta, uh, button is not black, so we start with zero. Color of the button's not written on itself. The, uh, magenta's complementary is green. It said yellow. So, since it said yellow, we add five. Add 60 for each unencrypted display text, that's the same. We don't have anything that says yellow text. 15 for each text, that's the same as this. This is rose, this is magenta, so don't get tripped up by that. And add 10 for each complementary color. So the complementary is green, we don't have any green, so we move on. Okay, this one is violet. Uh, it's violet, so we start with zero. No color nor mention of the word colors are on this, so we skip this part altogether. We don't have any text that says 111. We don't have any text that's violet. And the opposite of violet is lime. And I believe we don't have lime. We don't have lime. So, the final button value is 0. Next thing we have is yellow. Uh, yellow is going to be... Uh, it's not white, nor gray, nor black, so we start with 0. Ignore that in the background, I'm doing... I'm moving soon, so just ignore the noise. Uh, the word that's written on it is kilo, and that's not color. Uh, However, we do have a text that says Kilo, if I remember correctly. Yep. So, we add 60. Uh, do we have anything that's yellow? Yes, we do. We have one text. So, we add 15. It's gonna be 75. And we add 10 for each complementary color. Yellow and blue, that make, uh, those are complementary. So, since we have one blue, we add 10. So this becomes 85. This is black, so we start with 30. So we can just write this on immediately. Uh, okay. That uh, blue and black are not the same color, neither is red. The complementary is white, and this is not white. Otherwise, uh, it's just a color, so we add 5. We don't add 5 twice for it being two colors, we just add 5 once. Uh, we don't have the text blue and red as any of our text. We don't, uh, none of our text is black. However, we have two white, which is the opposite of uh, black, so this becomes 55. Next thing we have is cyan. It's not black nor white nor gray, so we start with zero. This is not a color, so... Our, st our thing is still zero. We don't have a phrase that says Delta Next. None of these are in cyan. And the opposite of cyan is red, again in just this case. So, we do have a red, so this becomes 10. And this is our initial value. Now, what we have to do is we have to grab triple the initial value of the button, so in this case, 5, and we add double the three text values given uh, by this. So for top left button, we use uh, display text 6, which is 139, and display text 1 twice, so 135 and 135. That gives us 833. Alright. Again, we do 5 twice, and we use display text 7, which is 117, display text 3, which is 62, and display text 1, which is 135. Grab this, plug in here. That gives us 643. Alright, then we have 0. Uh, top right, uh, display text 8, so we have 113. Then the third one, so 62. Then the uh, third one again, which is 62. 
to a 474. <laughs> Next we grab 85. Display text two, uh, display text six, which is 139. Display text five, which is 98. And display text three, which is 62. So that's 853. Just making sure I did this one correctly. Uh, six, five, and three. Yep, yeah, okay. Now we plug in 55. Uh, display text seven, which is 117. Display text five twice, so that's 98 and 98. That is 791. Yeah. Okay, so 791. Again, we plug in uh, the final value. Display text 8, which is 113. Display text 1, which is 135. And display text 5, which is 98. We grab this, we plug in here, and they, that gives us 722. Now, what we want to do, uh, basically what we have to do, is press these... Uh, in ascending order from the fourth up. So, that's going to be, uh, okay, so we have x, 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 x. Uh, let me just space these out. Okay, so this is the first one. This is the second one. This is the third one. This is the fourth one. Uh, fifth and sixth. Now, since we're pressing from four, we're pressing it in the order of four, three, two, one, and since we're doing that, we can just ignore these two values. So, first thing we're pressing is bottom right. We take the text that's on bottom right, so delta next, and we take the value of that text, which is forty-seven. So we have. So we wrote down 47. Now, based on the color of the button, uh, and we're using this table, it's cyan, so we, uh, we find our value x. So, just ignore this for now. So, we have the second digit subtracted first. So 7 minus 4 is 3. Uh, yeah, so our x value is 3. And we have one Y value. Oh, well, no, since we have no lit LEDs, since we haven't pressed anything, our Y value is the same as our X value. So, Y also equals 3. And what we do is we use the symbols dependent to display text 8, so in this case, question marks, and we press bottom right when the difference between the last two digits timer is 3 mod 5. So, we press bottom right when the difference is 3. Uh, is to, uh, when the difference is 3, so right now. Now, that button has changed. But, the only thing we need to check is the initial value to see if it has gone over uh, the other initial value to see if uh, we need to press this one again. So, it now says yellow, and it's, uh, well, it's now yellow and it says button. So, it doesn't fit any of these, so it's 0. Uh, button is not color, so we skip this. None of our text said button. Uh, we had one display text that's the same color as as it, so 15. And we had one that was a compliment, uh, complementary of it, so it's now 25. Yeah, red is complementary of... no. That still applies. So, we plug this back into our equation, so 25. Uh, and since we pressed bottom right, uh, we use display text 8, display text 1, and display text 5. So, we need to see if our new bottom right value is greater than our bottom middle value. 767. This is not greater than this, so we can just ignore this. So, we're going to be pressing bottom middle. 
So bottom middle says blue and red. That is a value of 42. Now, since our button is black, we use the lowest digit, that being a 2. Uh, we have one lit LED. Uh, the display text is next. So we use the current X value minus the previous X value. So 2 minus 3 gives us negative 1. Well, actually no. Gives us Y equals negative 1. So, we, uh, we grab the the symbols from display text 7, since we've done one bottom input. And we find the difference bet uh, we press bottom middle when the difference between the last two digits of the timer is 2y mod 5. So that's negative 2 mod 5 being 3. So we press bottom middle when the difference is 3. Okay, we check this once more. Okay, so... It's Jade, and that's none of uh, the three colors listed. If the color of the button is written on itself, nope. So we skip, and C Charlie is not a color, so we just skip all of this. C Charlie is not one of our original things. None of our original things was Jade. And the opposite of Jade is Rose. We have two rows, giving us a value of 20. However, since our previous value was 55, and our current one is 20, uh, we know that it's not going to make a difference. Like, it's not going to be greater than top left. So, we just ignore this, and we press top left. Now, top left says in cyan, and in cyan is 45. Uh, cyan, so this is green, so x equals the sum of the digits, so the sum of 4 and 5 is 9. Alright, and we go down here. There are two lit LEDs, and display text 4 is next, so you see the x value minus the previous y value. The, means the uh, previous y value was negative 1, so that means y equals 10. Now we use the sixth, uh, the sixth uh, text symbol, which was an asterisk. And we use, uh, we press top left when the sum of the last two digits uh, is 11 minus uh, y mod 9. 10 mod 9 is 1, so we press it when the sum is, uh, is 10. Top left. Yeah. Okay, we check this once more. Our new button is gray, meaning that we start with the value of 20. It has the color in blue, which is not a complementary, since gray doesn't have a complementary. Uh, so we just add 5. Uh, we don't have any text that says in blue, I believe. In blue, no we don't. Uh, we don't have any text that's gray. And it says everyone is not gray, so we just get this. And since this is different than our previous uh, final value, well, initial value, we plug this in, and it's top left, so we plug in the corresponding values as well. 135 and 135. That gives us 893. Now, 893 is bigger than the one we have right now, meaning. We ignore the bottom left one, and we press top left again. However, we don't do the same thing as we did the previous uh, three button presses. What we do is we grab the display uh, text of it again, so in blue, and we're going to do two separate things to it. For the first one, we're going to change it based on the text value of the second one like using this table. So rows, uh, rows is subtract twice the second digit. So for this one, uh, 83 minus uh, 6 is 77. Yeah, 77. And the second thing is white, meaning we don't do anything. Now, we take the button, 
Now we do, uh, we apply the button value to this, and that'll give us two x values. So it's gray, so it's the sum of the digits subtracted to digital root. So seven plus, uh, so uh, the digital root of 77 is seven plus seven, so 14, so the digital root equals five. 77, uh, so 14 minus 5 equals 9. So x1 equals 9. And we do that to this one as well. So, uh, let's see. So 8 plus 3 is 11. 11, 1 plus 1 is 2. So 11 minus 2 equals 9. So, x2 equals 9. Now, we check if our, uh, if our text 2 and 4 are the same, so if they're both next or if they're both then. And if they are, we're going to add them up. If they weren't, we would subtract them. But, the sum of that, or the difference of it, would be our y value. And since they are the same, we have the y value of 18. Now, to find out what symbol we use, we grab the, uh, the symbols of uh, the symbols of text 2 and 4, and we find the intersection of them. And you can do them in any order, they, uh, you'll get the same result. So, whoop, there we go. So we use the asterisk value, and we apply that to this. So the sum of the last two digits of the timer is 11 minus 18 mod 9, so 18 mod 9 is 0, so we press top left when the sum of the last two digits of the timer is uh, 11. So that's going to be at, the closest one is 29. So I'll see if this recording has been for a waste or not. Bamboozled again. I will not do a second example. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. And sweet mother of god, I did it.